In this tutorial, we shall use EgoX project to add Crashlytics to our app. Crashlytics is a great addition to any app. If and when your app crashes, Crashlytics will notify you and provide a detailed crash report, allowing you to see where the crash occurred. Crashlytics provide an app to add the Crashlytics framework to your app, but it does not cope well with projects that get auto-generated like Unity projects. Instead, set it up once using their installer to get all of the required values, and then use EgoX project to make the required modifications on future builds. As well as needing to add the Crashlytics framework, we will need to add two helper files, egocrashlytics.h and .m. These allow us to start Crashlytics without having to modify the Unity app controller.mm file. They can be downloaded from the EgoX project website. First, we need to edit the egocrashlytics.h file and set our API key. Now, add EgoX project to Unity. Open the Xcode project editor under Window, EgoX project, Xcode project editor. Create a new change file. Add the Crashlytics framework by pressing the plus button in the Add Framework section. Then, press the Add Other Framework button in the Frameworks browser and select the Crashlytics framework. Then, add the two Ego Crashlytics files by pressing the plus button in the Add Files section and selecting each one. Crashlytics requires a DSIM file to be generated, so add a build setting to do this. Select Debug Information Format and set the value to Dwarf with DSIM file. Finally, add a build script and add the Crashlytics script. The two long strings are your API key and your build secret. You can find these under your organization on the Crashlytics website. Switching to the Preview and Merge tab, we can see a summary of the changes that will be made. And I forgot to set the framework to copy rather than link, so let's fix that. If we copy the framework, we do not need to change the script created by Crashlytics. If we linked the framework, we would need to set the relative path to the framework in the script. Everything now looks correct, so let's build our project. In the iOS Xcode project, we can see that the files have been added. The DSIM file will be generated. The source file will be compiled. The framework will be linked. And the build script will be run.